I'm a former atheist, and I used to be an internet troll who would rattle the cages of believers on the internet. I used to love it. Man, if I could steal somebody's peace, ooh, I've made a hypocrisy of their whole faith. Because Jesus said, my peace I give you, my peace I leave you. And if something so petty as a comment from a stranger on the internet can rob you of your peace, and how shallow our faith must have been to begin with. Now, on the other side of this, as a Christian, <laughs> there's a plot twist I wasn't expecting. <laughs> I mark it a unique mission of mine to share this with people, that this is the goal of the enemy. This is the devil's assignment for his followers or just non-believers in general, is to rob believers of our peace. Our peace, his peace, is a souvenir of our relationship with him. And if he can rob us of that most precious gift, then he can steal what Jesus has left us with. The only peace I have ever found in my life, it has not been found in men, it has not been found in booze, it has not been found in dyeing my hair a different color and losing weight and gaining weight and getting an outfit, getting a raise, none of it. The only peace I've ever experienced is with God and God alone. And if he can steal that from us, he can steal the unique thing that only God can provide to this world so desperately seeking and needing it. We must hold fast to our faith in the face of societal mocking, in awful depictions of religious imagery in, in degrading ways that they think is going to matter. Our peace is what sets us apart in this world. And if the world can take it from us, well then what does that say about who we have put on the throne? whether it be the God or the world, when they mock us in our face, when they spit in our face, as followers of Jesus, we must stand tall and not react in kind, but react in love and in patience and in sympathy, in mercy and in grace. Because let me tell you, as a former atheist, when a believer would behave that way, I went running, but it planted a seed that maybe, just maybe, this thing might actually be true and it might actually work. When they get a rise out of us, they get a win. Don't give them the win. That's the spiritual battle. Keep your peace, hold on to your peace, that's the commodity the world seeks to rob you of the most because that is the biggest testimony we have because it is the thing that sets us apart in this world the most. You go out there and you be the peace of Jesus. You go be the hands and feet of Jesus. We go be the love of Jesus because as followers of him, that is what we have been called to do. Not make angry posts on the internet, not get all up in arms, Go show that love. Go react in a way that people don't expect you to react. You wanna get someone's attention for the Lord? That's how you do it. It's coming from a former atheist. Who now is giving my life to God. I owe everything to Jesus and my Christian faith. Please take it from me. As somebody who's lived on both sides, you go be the peace, you go be the love to them. That's how you change their heart. That's how people changed mine, was by being Jesus to me, for him. That's today's word.